Hey everyone, so I have another addition to my children's TV show series and this is the current TV shows and this one is Grandpa in My Pocket. Now my sister is six and she loved Grandpa in My Pocket, not so much now because she basically since she turned six two weeks ago she's a big girl, she watches the proper Nickelodeon and things, she doesn't watch CBBS. But Grandpa in My Pocket is one of the few currently produced kids shows which I think is pretty amazing. It focuses on Grandpa and he has a cap yeah, just sort of a golf cap type thing, you know, the stereotypical thing that grand grandpas wear. And whenever he takes it off, he shrinks. And when he shrinks, he can do a lot of mischievous things. He shrinks not on his own accord, but when he thinks it's appropriate. He has a grandson called Jason, and, you know, they're, they're best of buddies. They are, they're really good friends. And if Jason's got a problem, Grandpa will help out. For example, I think the one episode that sticks most in my mind is that Jason was going to this, like arty, crafty types classes. But the teacher there was very mean and she didn't really let the children be creative. You know, I mean, if she could, she'd make them paint in black and no colours. It was a very dull, dull class with a mean teacher. And Jason was talking to Grandpa about this and he thought, right, we're going to do something about this. So, off goes the cap and he becomes smaller. And he sneaks away in Jason's pocket and he goes to this craft class with him and he gives this teacher what for. He can play a lot of mean tricks and a lot of sly things when he's that size and it's absolutely brilliant. Another one I absolutely loved, which I think is a really actually sweet concept, is kids were coming over to the house for the life of me. I can't remember whose kids they were or why, but there was a, a toy farm on the table. And one of the kids was really shy. And he didn't really want to talk to anybody. You know, quite sad. And Grandpa thought, we're going to have to do something about this. So what he did was he took off his cap and he shrunk down and he went into the farmhouse, this toy farmhouse, and pretended to be a living farmer that lived in this toy house. Genius. It also plays on the whole kids' imaginations and how they think that these characters are actually alive and how they can really make plastic toys come to life. But instead, Grandpa just did it for him, which I thought was brilliant. And there's a scene where he's driving a little plastic tractor and it's... Oh, it's great fun, it really is. It's really imaginative, really creative and really magical. <laughs> I love it. It's definitely one of my favourite current programmes. Not that I watch it for leisure or anything, you know, didn't say that. Yeah, I do. But yeah, it was just really nice and really sweet and I think really just inventive. It's brilliant. And I love Grandpa. He's such a sweet character. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, either check it out um, on TV or type it into YouTube. And I'm sure there will be some clips there. And if you're feeling really adventurous, I believe there's a Grandpa in My Pocket magazine. There's a You can get the DVD with a, a finger puppet Grandpa, which is kind of random. I haven't got that. I, oh, that's an honest answer. I haven't got that. I swear. Yeah, but it is really good. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on that or anything else. And that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.